Today, we will witness the full potential of low code in action as we dive into the process of creating and implementing cloud functions for Superbase. These functions will be triggered whenever any data changes occur in a particular Superbase table. Typically, for a task like this, you would have to write a certain amount of code. But the good news is that today, you're going to learn how you can accomplish all of this visually in an entirely low code fashion by using Billship. Billship is a robust low code platform that enables the visual development of any backend logic. With numerous integrations with leading AI models and third party services, such as Superbase, Billship is the ideal choice for building a backend from start to finish without needing to know how to code. In this video, we'll create a workflow that will be triggered whenever a new row is inserted into a Superbase table. We have a demo Superbase table ready for this purpose, and our ultimate objective is to trigger a Billship workflow to summarize and classify the large text content. And upon doing so, we'll update the row with these values. First, we'll create our workflow, and then we'll set up the integration with Superbase via its database webhooks feature. In Billship, we'll start by creating a brand new workflow. And the first thing we'll do is select a trigger. We'll go with the REST API called trigger, and this trigger will kick off the execution of our workflow. Later, when we deploy this workflow, we'll get a publicly accessible API endpoint that we'll use to connect our workflow with Superbase. Now let's set the path to Superbase update and we'll set the HTTP method to post. Now we're going to see how we can run the Cohere integration nodes to summarize and classify the large text from the Superbase request in parallel. Let's add a new node and we'll select the parallel node. And here we can add any nodes we want to run at the same time. First, we'll add the Cohere Text Summarizer node. We'll select our Cohere API key, or you can create a new one by selecting Add Secret. We'll get the text we want to summarize from the request body. Superbase sends within the request body a record object with all the fields of the inserted row. Here, we want to get the large text field. We'll set the length of the summarized text to short and the format to paragraph. Finally, we'll set the temperature to 0 0.7. Next, we'll add the Cohere Classify node. We'll select our API key. Next, we'll pass the text we want to classify as an array item to the inputs field. For this, we will also use the large text from the request body. And finally, we need to pass a set of classification examples to provide context to the model. And that's it for our parallel node. The great thing about this node is that instead of running these two nodes sequentially, they will be executed in parallel, thus improving the workflow's efficiency and reducing execution time. Now we can focus on adding our Superbase node. As previously mentioned, we want to use the text generated by our Cohere nodes and update the appropriate row with these values. First, we'll navigate to the Superbase group within the nodes library. And you can see that we have a number of nodes available for interacting with Superbase. We're interested in updating a row, so we'll select the update Superbase row node. And now we can start configuring this node. First, we'll set the API URL which you can obtain by going to the project settings, then go to the API section, and here you can copy your project URL. You can also retrieve your Superbase Anon key from this page and paste it for the API key. Our table is named demo, but now we need to tell Superbase which row we want to update. Each row in our Superbase table has a unique ID and we will use this ID to specify the row we want to update. We'll use the syntax, which is adding a filter where the ID is equal to the row ID, which we get from the request body. Finally, we'll specify the columns we want to update as an object. Here, summary is the value returned from the Cohere Text Summarizer node. And classification is set to the first item returned from the Cohere Classify node. 
And that's all the setup needed for this node. The last thing we want to do is return an OK status to indicate a successful execution of our workflow. For this, we'll add a return node. We'll set the status code to OK and the value to success. And believe it or not, we're all set on the build ship side of things. Let's ship and deploy our new workflow. And after waiting just a few seconds, our workflow is now live. And more importantly, we can now take this workflow endpoint and connect it to our Superbase table to start listening for changes in real time. Let's see how we can set this up. In Superbase, we're currently on the database page. From here, we want to go to the webhook section and we want to create a new webhook. We'll enter Billship webhook for the name and the table we want to listen for changes on is our demo table. And we only want to listen for insert events. Our webhook type will be set to HTTP requests and the method will be post. Now we need to specify the URL we want to call when an insert event occurs. We'll go back to our workflow and copy the endpoint URL and we'll just paste it here. So this is how the workflow will be listening for real-time updates from our table. Now let's create the webhook. Great, with our database webhook now created, we can now test that our setup is working end-to-end -end by inserting a new row into Superbase. We'll go to the table editor and we want to select our demo table. From here, we can insert a new row and the only field we need to fill out here is the large text field. We'll hit save. And because we're inserting a new row, we're expecting our Billship workflow to be triggered. And after waiting a while, we'll see that both the summary and classification columns are now populated. Awesome. This is of course done from our Billship workflow. Let's give it a try one more time. We'll add a new row. And as you can see, it's still working. Back in Billship, here is our workflow. And if we open up the workflow logs, we can see here that we have two successful execution of this workflow. Beautiful. So our workflow and all the nodes are executing without any issues. This is the power of Billship with its many integration with popular third-party services such as Superbase. Creating an end-to-end -end backend is now feasible without having to write a single line of code. But wait, there's more. If you'd like to customize this workflow or any other workflow, there's an even easier way to do this in Billship. Just generate it with AI. Start by selecting the Generate with AI option, describe the functionality of the node you want, hit Generate, and that's all there is to it. With Billship, there's truly no limit to what you can build. That's all for now. See you in the next one.